we're born with no beliefs. And so what happens is we're, we learn off of people by watching our parents and people around us, but we also learn words. And then we look, learn these definitions, right? You gotta go to work someday. And then people are like, oh, I gotta work. But we never really think about how we define work because we now have a belief system that has limitations because of what we watch, right? So if my grandfather worked six days a week, 12 hours a day, selling tires out of the back of the truck so he could have enough to build an auto parts store, and then he worked six days a week, and the, right? Work has a, a, an emotional meaning to me. And I used to have that meaning. And then I started shifting it and saying, what? why is it? Why does it have to be work? Why? What, what if maybe I didn't understand my grandfather? Maybe that he, that's what he loved to do. Maybe not, but right, so what is work? Work is something I don't want to do that they pay me for? That might not be a definition for work for me. Something I don't want to do that they pay me for. What if I could get paid for what I want to do? And then I focus my belief system that it was all possible for everything and probable in my perspective that I'm going to only be paid for what I love to do. If I don't want to do it, I'll pay somebody to do it for me. Why not? I don't like to worry, I'm going to pay someone to worry. Right? I don't like to drive, so I'm going to pay someone to drive for me. Why not? Whether you think you can or you can't, either way you're right. So I think it's really important. It's not work. Some of the things that you're describing, it's Redefine. super fun, right? Redefine work, yeah. Yeah. right? Like I, some of you probably heard, right? I changed my whole life with one simple thing about trash, right? I infused a new purpose into taking out the trash. I said, because trash was work for me. It was something I didn't want to do that I would have paid somebody else to do. And I hated it and I spilled it on me. I cut myself, I would kick it and it would open up and cause more work. And finally I decided to surrender. And I said, no, I'm gonna enjoy the pursuit of my potential. What is it I'm missing in my life? I'm missing time to be happy. So you know what? Every time I see trash, I'm gonna take it out and use it as my escape time to think about how I can be happy. Pretty soon the energy of taking the trash changed. It wasn't work, it wasn't a chore, it was something I loved to do.